Hey guys, what's going on? Flavored Fairies here, and welcome back to Life Talk Fridays. Now, today I want to talk about something that affects every single person um, at different po points in time in their age and whatever else. It's called a little thing called puberty. Now, puberty is a big step in everyone's life, and uh, for most people it happens between the ages of uh, roughly like 12 to 14, and it can last all the way up until you're 21, roughly. It all depends whether you're an early bloomer, a late bloomer, whatever else happens, but it's a really strange time for most people, and, uh, you know, it's just something I wanted to talk about. Now, um, there's a lot of side effects and a lot of things that you deal with uh, when it comes to puberty because your body is constantly changing and you're developing more um, and becoming more of an adult in your body. Now, the problem with that is that it, it begins to make a lot of changes that you're not really used to and a lot of things that really um, might scare you or just unnerve you a little bit because it's something that you haven't really dealt with yet in your young life. Um, a lot of the big things that people don't take into consideration, not just the body changes, but there's also hormonal changes where it's changing the amount of hormones that are released in your body from from your body that's changing your body. Now, I know it's a really complicated kind of way of saying it, but what it burns down to is that these hormones um, are affecting a lot of things besides just your body, including your mood. So when you're a teenager and you like one day or you just have that fucking day or you just like all of a sudden you, you just change like your mood has just changed and you're in, now you're in a fucking shitty mood and everybody is she just fucking you know that is usually just hormones and i know like when i was growing up i was like no like hormones can't control me that much no they really do like there were some moments like i was fucking like i was crying and i didn't know why i was crying and it's it's all hormones it's all stuff that's based in your body and it's, it's completely natural and stuff that every single person goes through and something that you know we we learn to live with as a person um i remember growing up that uh <laughs> one time I was in the middle of talking to my mom, like, about, like, the most mundane crap. I think we were talking about chores and how it was my turn to vacuum the fucking living room or whatever. And all of a sudden, I just started fucking bawling. No rhyme, no reason. My body's like, you know what? You need to cry right fucking now. And that was it. Like, the waterworks were turned on. My mom's trying to figure out what the fuck's wrong with me. And then, pff, next change. Like, probably five minutes into me crying and my mom trying to figure out what the hell was wrong, I just got so fucking mad like i wanted to fucking hurt people and i was so angry and just pissed off at the world and it was just my hormones messing with my head and your body because it's something brand new uh it's not brand new but the amount of hormones going through your body is new it doesn't quite know how to adjust and how to handle it quite yet so you're going to deal with a lot of things that um you know everyone else deals with and it's completely natural so d don't be scared of the changes um you just have to kind of go with the flow and uh, live with yourself and i know a lot of people in that age tend to hate themselves and there's everything else going on right like you're dealing with people at school you're dealing with people at home your body feels like it fucking hates you and then there's people on top of that going hey um by the way did you know what you wanted to do for the rest of your fucking life because now is a great time to choose when you're in the middle of everything else so it's a bit of a hectic time and a bit of a crazy period so it's completely understandable and you know um the best thing you can do is talk to your mom and dad honestly like they've gone through the exact same thing um this is probably one of the biggest parts of your life that they're gonna be there for you because you know they that's kind of their job it's a bit in their description a little bit is helping you get through the, this time of change and this um period of time where you're just adapting to the new parts and the new um things in your body um I, I remember uh, it was always weird, like hair starts to grow in weird places, you know, your body starts changing a little bit, um, boys usually grow really tall, their shoulders start to broaden, women, you know, grow chests, their hips start to widen, it's all sorts of things that are completely natural and just happen, but you tend to notice not only in yourselves, but the people around you and your emotions when you're dealing with people, especially the fact that usually most people are in class classes sorry with other people so you're with 30 other fucking people who are going through the same thing and all these hormones are bounced around in one room and things get a little wild and things get a little heated and it's completely normal i just want you guys to know that um whenever it comes down to like we all do dumb shit and we all like have these weird reasons and sometimes at the time it feels like the absolute right thing to do i just need you guys to understand that when you're going through these times especially when you're dealing with these hormone imbalances just to take a step back breathe just try to think I know sometimes that's like utterly fucking impossible. One time, um, actually, this is probably one of the worst things 
that came because of puberty. I was in a really, really bad mood. I was just having a really weird mood swing and I just fucking hated everyone. And I ended up getting in a screen match with my stepfather at the time. And uh, I said, you know what? Fuck you, I'm leaving. And I left the house. Now, I was walking around downtown of my little town and I had no idea where to go. I didn't know what I was gonna do. I just knew that like I everything in the world fucking hated me and I really didn't think I was worth it. And I was like, you know what? I need to just go somewhere and sit and think. So my town's really small and it only has this one mall um and this mall had like a three-story four-story parking structure and it turned out to be like the tallest thing in our fucking town which i know is sad and pathetic but you know you do what you can so i, I climbed to the top of the parking structure um i sat on the corner of it with my legs hanging over the side and i was just watching the traffic go by just trying to understand life and think about my choices and my decisions and what kind of stuff i was gonna have to get into to like when i was becoming an adult like there's so much going through your head so i just wanted to stop and think and just get a clear picture so i sat there i watched the cars go by and i was just thinking about life no big deal right so i'm like you know what i gotta pee i should find a restaurant or whatever so I, I remember standing up and turning around and lo and behold i turn around and i see these headlights coming up top i'm like what the fuck is this well it turns out that uh, because it was one of the highest points in my town, it was actually one of the most prominent places for people who were suicidal to sit. So, uh, cops went up there regularly to check to make sure nobody was going to jump off. Well, as I turned around and was about to head back down, there was a cop there. And I was still really fucked up hormonally. Like, I was still really sad, still really angry, all at the same time for no reason. And it didn't make any sense at the time. But I remember him saying, um, what are you doing? You know, just kind of how old are you the normal kind of things he said do you want me to give you a ride home and through tears and fucking everything else i said yeah that'd be great so i gave him the address and he went and he took me home and he sat down and talked to my parents he told them where they found and for a good month my parents thought i was suicidal because of where he found me but it was just a situation i was put in i was never suicidal at that point in time i ne it never even crossed my mind i just needed a spot to get away and think and like parents don't understand that sometimes they don't understand that sometimes we do need our own space and that's totally okay at the end of the day they're just so concerned with protecting us that they sometimes forget that you know we need our own space too we need our breathing room to you know develop who we are as a person and it's totally okay um to remind them of that every once in a while now i'm not saying by remind them of that tell them to go fuck themselves and be like i'm gonna be all on my own and fucking storm off and go do something no just say listen i i know what you guys are trying to do i just need to be alone because we are learning to be adults and we have to learn how to be adults sociably too so we can speak to them in, in a fairly realistic manner and most parents uh, i know my parents were pretty cool I, like i would be like mom okay listen i don't want to fucking talk right now i'm in a really bad mood and i hate you a little bit and she'd be like okay i get you um i'll go ahead to the basement play some games whatever and i'll be up here if you need me and that's what i did i'd go downstairs i'd pop in my fucking xbox and i'd play some games and i would just think about you know life i, I wouldn't get any farther in the game because i wasn't paying attention to the game i was just thinking about me and having my alone time but that's what video games are were for me at the time it was somewhere that i could get away to just be by myself and think so um the best way to kind of go through puberty which i know there's no real best way but like my personal strategy that i had was that you guys can find stuff like video games like books like music somewhere where you can have your own personal space that's uh, designed for you but try to be um positive and kind of proactive about it and I, I know a lot of music today especially is like a lot of it is really really hateful and that stuff will actually uh turn you guys a bit and you're like no man it's just rock and roll it's just awesome i just love the beat and everything else well like you kind of got to be like you got to be worried about yourself a little bit because it does um mold you a little bit as a human being and you know unfortunately in today's day and age when you know you're 27 you're looking for a job and you got a big tattoo on your face because at the time you wanted to say fuck the world it's kind of hard to get a job and i know that sounds really grown up and not something you want to do because you want to fight the power and you want to be like every other teenager who's unique but you know sometimes you got to be a little smart about it but I digress. You guys can do whatever you want to do because it's your life and I can't stop you. But um, 
my tips and tricks for getting through puberty. Honestly, when it comes down to it, talk to your parents because they're going to be there for you or talk to somebody who's gone through this before because they can share the same feelings, the same thoughts and they help you get through it or find a friend, even your own age. You may not have gone through it yet, but they may have gone th through different things that you haven't experienced yet and you guys can help each other out. Um, and then find that one place, that one special place where you can just be alone by yourself with your own thoughts, your own feelings, and you can be your own person. But uh, that's about it for what I've got. Um, I hope you guys are, you know, having a good time, still having fun playing games, and just being pretty cool people in general because all the comments and everything I've gotten in videos so far have been really neat. If you guys want to see a Life Talk Fridays about any topic in general, go ahead and throw it in the, in the comment section below and I'm going to get to that because I love doing this for you. So if you guys gave me a better idea of what you wanted me to talk about, it makes it even better. But uh, other than that, guys, until next time, my name is Flavored Favors. You people are beautiful, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out, guys.